uh, last time that we were This is not a final product. There will be a few minor glitches and bugs. Yeah. Like yeah. this fault. Stupid this. Fault. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, it went away. Anyway. <laughs> so, welcome, welcome to the Italo 2 gameplay stream. Uh, we'll just be going for like 10 20 minutes and talk, about, talk a bit about uh, the basics of the game, what you do in it, if you ha haven't seen it before. Um, this is the sequel to Italo, which was a puzzle game. Uh, this is more of an action game. And uh, does anyone have anything specific to say? Uh, that it's uh, I, there's still a, there's Basic. still the pu puzzles in the game. The, it's yeah, uh, still puzzles, like... but fewer puzzles. And uh, basically, Daniel made so many puzzles for it to do one, so we kind of ran out of puzzles. Uh, yeah, the the thing we. Um, this game is more uh, heavily inspired by uh, the, f the very first Legend of Zelda. Um, yeah, so um, the game uh, consists consists of um, eight uh, overworld areas. You can see them all here because uh, we, I haven't walked there yet. Um, you can uh, visit these areas in any order and uh, complete their dungeons. And uh, of course, there are many uh, secrets to find along the way. Oh yeah, the, there's a, there's a bit of text above the Ito that's not supposed to be there. That's just a uh, placeholder for now. Yeah, uh, this is not a finished game. <laughs> Notice the the rolling is new. Yeah, the yeah, that makes the game more action oriented. Yeah, you yeah, have a dodge roll and it's a bit well, of a and stuff like that. As well as the 360 degree uh, turnings. Uh, and, and you can you can cancel your attacks with the roll and also do some speed run tricks like that. You can roll down, roll down hits. Uh, so yeah, so uh, the roll, the roll uh, is like uh, is invincible, but it does have a bit of cooldown. And just to um, uh, show it off. I can walk to this area, which is uh, one of the last areas. So it's not a uh, not a good idea for me to be here right now, unless I'm good enough to handle it, of course. But you could um, you could in theory just uh, take this area and the dungeon out of order. The map will show the first uh, where the first uh, dungeon is uh, with the arrow there. But uh, you can just go go out and and explore and just disregard all the uh, the pointers for the next dungeon. Yeah, you can uh, you can also turn off the pointer if you just want to uh, explore on your own. Some of the overworld enemies are just, uh, they're just in your way. They're not really actively trying to defeat you. This is the warp garden, which functions very much like the, the garden in the first. It'll do that. Um, when you find warps on the overworld, they all lead back here to the center of the island. Here are some not very suspicious people. <laughs> There's, uh, there's, uh, the world is pretty much, uh, very much more open than in, uh, in Italy do one. He, um, every area has, uh, has a lot of uh, secrets and uh, characters. Yeah, and um, the first game, uh, uh, most of the puzzles in the first game were based on block puzzles. Uh, there are still some block puzzles, but we have a lot more. Um, Freedom to the different types of puzzles this time around, and um, the way the, the way you find the different uh, hidden caves uh, is also quite varied. These guys are pretty. 
pretty difficult uh, right off the bat. This is not where you're recommended to, to go well, you in can. the beginning. You Please can. ignore that. <laughs> well, you can just go here. Um, yeah, of course. If you're, if you're pro enough. Yeah, exactly. One of the warps. Uh, it will take me back to uh, to the warp garden in the center of the world. Oh, and that uh, healing pad is just a checkpoint. You will spawn there if you if you yeah. die. Yeah, if you die, you go back. If you die die in the overworld, you go back to okay. the uh, to the beginning of the um, area that you entered. Unless you have a checkpoint there, you will begin at the checkpoint. So this is the fourth dungeon, actually, but you can just. Go here anytime. Uh, the design of the dungeons this time around is that uh, since you can complete any dungeon with just a stick and what you find inside, you will find some uh, shortcuts like this one that require some items that you may not have. They'll make they'll make the dungeon uh, faster or easier or less complicated. Um, not every dungeon has shortcuts. Which means that if you're brave enough to venture out of the, the regular order of, the, of dungeons, you might get rewarded somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Later in the game. Uh, there's at least one dungeon where you can basically skip um, most of the dungeon if you have uh, two certain items and a lockpick, which is a super rare item that unlocks a door, any door, but only once. Another thing, uh, if you're exploring the over, there's a lot of uh, special items that's uh, not, that are not uh, required to beat the game, but uh, will improve its uh, abilities. Uh, so there's there's a lot of uh, rewards uh, for the curious ones uh, to uh, to find. Yeah, this time um, everything that you find in chests, everything you find on the overworld um, will help it to, uh, either to combat enemies or explore the island or both. Um, it's not... Um, also, all the caves on the overworld can be found and completed using only a stick. Uh, you, won't, uh, you won't find any puzzles or caves on the overworld which require certain items that you don't have yet. Um, the only item requirements are for the shortcuts in the dungeons. This is the very first dungeon. It's uh, pretty small and easy. So I guess we can play through it. The whole thing. Yeah. Basically shows up the some of the base uh, base mechanics of the game. Yeah, like in the first game, um, if you hit uh, this gate, you can see what activists get, in, in this case, defeating enemies. In this uh, first area, the theme is safety. It's like the tutorial area, and they're, they're very concerned about the safety of the adventurers. Yeah. Condescending dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's quite condescending. Uh, in this case, you can um, work this thing to see what activates it. Same thing with the door. So there are no, uh, like, control isn't taken from the player when you do this sort of stuff. This is a tracker. Um, there are actually several trackers, and it's uh, global, so it's not like there's one per dungeon. This time you don't need dynamite to destroy this kind of box, you just whack him. She With powered up. <laughs> yeah, use your muscles. This is one of the new uh, types of puzzles, which are numbered pressure plates. It's This one is quite simple, you just push them in order. Um, some math might be needed in that puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> some basic uh, counting ability. <laughs> Here's a fruit. 
it will give me another one of these placeholder texts above my head. These are uh, statuses, which uh, are kind of in development, but uh, they give uh, the player small buffs. There are also enemies that can debuff the player per uh, temporarily, and there are ways to protect yourself from it as well. This is an in-dungeon restore point. Quite simply, there's one of these before each boss. If you lose to the boss, you just respawn outside the boss room. And as you can see, the, the first dungeon is it's very small on you. Yeah. yeah, it's very small and simple. But I don't they, they increasingly get much bigger later. Yeah. Both and more complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both uh, the puzzles and the enemies will get, uh, get very hard. There's, as we said, eight dungeons uh, in total. Yeah, there, uh, there are eight dungeons, and they, there are eight dungeons, and they get uh, quite big. Uh, yeah, and they get some backtracking and some uh, unlinearity <laughs> and stuff. This is uh, the first boss. A character from Card City Knights. No. 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 This is a new character. Okay. Sure. We're, we're thinking of the uh, side master. Same, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Oh. It's oh. the expanded universe of Little Pen. She's not, not very difficult since she's the first boss. Although it does hurt if he if he does uh, hit you. So just uh, whack it. They want, they want us to present ourselves. They need to do ourselves. We have a need to do ourselves. Oh yeah, uh, I'm uh, Daniel, the designer. I'm Uncle, the main uh, art director, I guess. Yeah, you sure? Here we, we make up our own titles. <laughs> and Nils, the second artist. And I'm Matthias, a programmer, but in this project I'm mostly a musician and sound setter and, and sound monkey engineer. work yeah. <laughs> guy, all, all around guy. And speaking of the music, uh, this game will have like, uh, as, it, as it looks uh, right now, it will have like three times the, mu uh, the amount of music uh, compared to the first game, so so look forward to that. Yeah, uh, you can show up the uh, like the uh, cave transition of the music. So there's yeah. uh, there's some mu some music effects in the game that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that, but the um, the music changed. Like if you went into the room next door, I guess in in the, in the effects and and some instruments were changed out when you went into these small caves. Yeah, and uh, I can uh, increase the volume to show it off notice outside uh, that uh, the uh, the night uh, has fallen uh, during the during the time we were in the dungeon terrible time to have a curse. <laughs> yes tonight. we it has no real effect on anything Put this in for speedrunners. If you if you roll down the hill, you can keep holding the roll button and you just roll on until you hit the wall. So maybe someone can do something fun about that. With that. Oh no, it's a block puzzle. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this time when you light your stick, uh, it will keep burning until you leave the room. So it's not uh, time based this time around. But if you leave the room, it will stop burning immediately. There's one of those, uh, one of those lock picks. Hmm. Like that opens any door. Yeah, it's a universal key, like a sheet key, but they're, they're very Yes, humbling. there are only a few of them in the game. No, I hit the wall. The, uh, the game is uh, uh, eight, eight dungeons and a last dungeon and then uh, seven, seven dungeons and the last dungeon. 
Ah, right. Uh, but there's also there also might be a couple of hidden areas as well. So the game world is very expansive in compared to the D1. Yeah, the things you can find in these um, uh, caves isn't usually just. It's not just caves. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, there are also um, something called the portal worms. Um, how do you how do you do this again? <laughs> you have to do it in uh, order of pitch. So with the lowest one rising. Are we are we, gonna we need to hear this, uh, we need to hear the song. Yeah, we're gonna show this. Can you give so her secrets? Can you give my heart? I think it's the bottom left, the top right, and then. Oh no, right. this, this glitched phone is rolling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We better get out of here. Better get out of here. <laughs> Fog. Mysterious. I think I can show this one just to uh, see what happens here. Yeah. It's a small one, so. Oh no. I just realized something. Um, if you have a certain item, you can skip this whole area. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this guy. Wow. This is a more aggressive bee. It's more dangerous. The regular bee is named Stupid Bee. And these bees are. Uh, get away from me. Bees! 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 bees. Oh no, not the bees. There we go. I forgot what to. Oh, it's another tracker. So it, when you find the, the same item again. Um, it's upgraded. Uh, so, like the items you find in the, in the dungeons are found on the overworld as well. And some items um, which just can't be found in, in the dungeons. You can bring up the inventory screen. There's a lot of slots in the. Let's see, how, how do I. I forgot control. to escape. Mm. I have no idea what this secret chart is for. These are draft pieces. These are the ones that you're supposed to collect. There are eight draft pieces. Uh, at the start of the game, uh, you get your quest sort of to collect these in order to leave the island. And of course, there's one at the end of each dungeon. Uh, there just so happens to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what do I do next? Uh, you go to the, the beach. Yeah, yeah I go beach. You go to the beach. Uh, oh, I start your end. Yeah, out of the out of the book. Be fun. Uh, some some NPCs here are uh, quite happy to see an adventure. They need someone to tell their hints to. I think there's someone who who. Um, already met an adventurer who they gave their hint, so they can't give you one. They already gave their hint. Uh, Giving hints to random adventures is what they live for. Yeah. So purpose in life. Another war point. Yeah, the connects with the with the warp garden. And the makes for easy access. Gross candy beach. Yeah, damn kids, leave me there. <laughs> Sugar canes. And and right now there's like it's like more. No, not sugar sure canes. Sorry. Or... Mm, caramel. What are they called? Caramel cane. Are they called? Candy cane. Candy cane. Candy cane. Suspicious. I, for I forgot what's in here. Oh no, it's, it's a, a block. block. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh no. No. Oh no. no. Bro. No. Bro. No. No. Dude. No. 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 Bro. Dude. Bro. No. I thought you said there weren't many of these. I was wrong. Appar <laughs> apparently, I enter all the caves with the block puzzles. Oh. Pretty sure there's only block puzzles. <laughs> You got you got a, a weird weird ass That's a on the, uh, <laughs> the right the pillar vessel. 
so th this is the, the second area of the game, although of course you can visit them in any order, but it's it's meant as the second difficulty wise and size wise. Mm. Size wise? Size wise. Uh, two, yeah, you need okay. a bit more force on that one. I wonder what's here. Some delayed spikes. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> no! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now it's it's one of these uh, chests which, in the final game, will actually have something interesting. Yeah. But right now there's nothing. That you wanna change the costume? Can we show that? Yeah, yeah I guess I, I guess I can. Yeah, sure. Maybe that's uh, something. Okay. Oh, it's the whole interior of that place is. Tempting. It's uh, there's there's a lot of temp stuff oh. there, but. Mystical yes. in the chat asks uh, what engine this game is built on. That's always always a question. It seems people are very. And the answer is pretty boring. It's Unity. <laughs> yeah, like every other indie game, yeah. it's Unity. <laughs> but it's uh, Unity with uh, quite a few parts um, hacked no, off. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> the thing. Yeah, the dude. thing. Uh, the yeah. left, left most. I forget about uh, no, this. The, the middle. The one middle. of these is like a temp, you become the empathetic frog. Yes, yes. that's um, one of no, the suits. Now I am become the tipsy. <laughs> Wait, you have to use the, the debug one as well. <laughs> Business casual tipsy. Oh, the ears are clipping. Oh no. That's the whole suit thing is uh, just just for for looks, just for fashion, just for style. I can go to the uh, sand castle with this outfit. Yeah. Break targets. Uh, it's all right. You can. Uh, we're not going to screen for that long, so you probably yeah. can just wait a couple more minutes and we'll be done. Yeah, and we also uh, and you'll get your sleep. Upload this to YouTube, yeah. I think. Yeah, if anyone wants to, to watch it after the fact. Yeah. Are you gonna do this one as well? Or mm, that's are you gonna... that's a bit much for. Yeah, not. Maybe not for TV. Maybe not the entire. Yeah, it's not safe for TV. I guess I can uh, show this off. There's a locked door here, but I know locked it. So it's fine. Yeah, when you use the invincible roll, you can cancel out projectiles by just rolling straight into them. But the invincibility doesn't last for the whole, uh, for the entire roll. It's actually just the uh, white flashing part. Yeah. You need to uh, uh, really time it if you're gonna roll through a close we combat got, attack. Uh, we got the thing. We got, as in the first game, uh, you don't actually switch out your inventory. Um, your inventory screen is just just keep track of what you have. Uh, there are four um, basic items in a game, and they are mapped to four different buttons. So you never switch them out; you keep them throughout the game. This is a new item, the force one. It pushes things. It can push um, like uh, blocks. It can even push it all if you know how. And it also doubles as a weapon, a ranged weapon. And a shield as well. Like it can reflect uh, projectiles. That's very, very effective. <laughs> Stop shooting yourself. The, the gates have been promoted to enemies. Some of them. The, the, the loner. <laughs> those are the dangerous ones. <laughs> the rogue gates. They don't want to stand unified, blocking a path anymore. They want to be free. <laughs> so they could ask uh, to pick them the stick. <laughs> <laughs> And destroy all the sound kits. Yeah. Mm. That's. Smack. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Uh, I guess I can go down to uh, show off that uh, debug cost costume. Yeah. The best costume. <laughs> The 
these enemies actually have a line of sight. They can't see you from behind. <laughs> Unless someone shoots at them, I guess. Yeah, we're we're Lodosity and the game is uh, it'll do too. Yes, it'll do too. <laughs> it'll is do. that the? Yeah, yeah. Think it's so. a, yeah, it is now. I think this is. Okay. We were thinking of adding a subtitle, but. Now we've sent the basic title to like facts and stuff, so yeah. It, it's stuck. Uh, about, about the dungeons. Um, you, um, like I said, you can complete the dungeons with the stick and what you find inside, which means that um, most of the dungeons you can't complete with just a stick, but inside the dungeon you will find the item you need. Um, it is the uh, random uh, hidden overworld caves that you only need a stick for. And uh, when you upgrade your weapon, it doesn't actually upgrade that far. So it's not like you will become uh, monstrously powerful at the end of the game. Because there, there are dungeons that require you to have all the items. Uh, yeah, the, um, the thing about designing it this way is that the very last dungeon, the number 8, you can only enter when you have uh, 7 draft pieces, which means that, as a designer, I know that you have all the items when you enter it, which means that the puzzles in there all require that you have all the items. So, um, for the from the player's perspective, if you enter a dungeon, you can complete it. Um, you can never get stuck in a situation where you find a puzzle that's required but you can't beat it. That's not, never gonna happen. So no. the best and now outfit. <laughs> I guess it's the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is our, our test costume. <laughs> yeah, it's um I don't know, I guess we could like put it in the game but <laughs> You can put it like a super secret or a, like a pre-order board. Yeah, a pre-order board. <laughs> yes. yes. But it's a secret to everyone, so don't tell. Um, I haven't read the chat in a while. Let's see. Yeah, they already not sent back. Like yeah. Normally. While you read, I can I can run around yeah. the, uh, the overworld. It's um, qu question and answer time. Some Q and A. Yeah, ask any questions, and then I guess we we'll, we we'll wrap up. Um, the the game world is completely uh, set. Um, there's no uh, randomness in the game world. I don't know where it is. Can you bring up, up the map? Sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Go to the right. So how do I get down? Uh, right. uh, yeah, we, ha we actually had an idea early on that like a second quest that's randomly generated, but that in itself would require a whole ton of work. It would be cool to do like later as a DLC or something, like a patch, but right now uh, there's no like time for that. Uh, and also it's considerably easier, considerably easier to design, to design a game like this one. a plan of having a second quest with uh, completely new dungeons and uh, rearranged overworld entrances. Uh, new Jenny, Slayer Jenny, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are there are many new uh, gems. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. 
Everything's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't go to frozen cold. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give it in this area. Then you go up to me time. No. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw I'm gonna destroy your home. <laughs> yeah, there are there are no pickups in the uh, destructibles. <coughs> I don't know if there should be, because then you just try to destroy everything all the time. It would get kind of tedious. But you do still destroy everything. <laughs> yeah, but but everyone destroys everything anyway. That was why we put hearts in the destructible blocks in the first game. <laughs> These guys are tricky because sometimes before the attack they roll up, they jump backwards. So you need to stay on your toes. Someone is asking if we're using an isometric camera and we are not. But uh, no. yeah, we do have a fixed camera, but it's not isometric uh, because that makes it look uh, much uh, stiffer. I guess. Much flatter. Yeah. More, more 2D, but we wanted, since we went to the trouble of making 3D, we might as well have some perspective. Yeah, and um, if you look, if you look closely um, in the dungeons and such, the walls are kind of tilted, so you can see the doors and puzzle elements uh, clearly. But it's not, but it's not like in um, Zelda: Link Between Worlds where they tilt everything. We haven't done that. Maybe? Yeah, we, we, we thought about it, but we decided early on that it would be a bother to work with everything being tilted, so... Yeah, it was a bit disaster. So instead, we just spent quite a bit of time to uh, make the camera cut. Also, in the dungeons, the camera is a bit closer to Ital, and when you're fighting a boss, uh, the camera is kept between Ital and the boss, so you can see what they're doing. Oh no, it's that, it's that fog again. <laughs> It's actually a fog. Can I see your fog? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, um, a weather effect that is gonna be deleted or changed. Yeah, it doesn't play nice with some, some yeah, graphics. So yeah, um, the idea oh, for the. Yes, if I don't want to show some calculus. Yeah, fuck mm -hmm. sure. If we can show one more, I mean, No, we've shown, we've shown oh, three. Yeah. I said we're actually, we shown three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, it's night again, or it's evening. Yeah, it's evening. Someone has any other questions? Yeah, exactly. Real quick. We could we could do do some uh, some quick questions if uh, anyone has a. Uh, yeah, and uh, the whole thing about how the game uh, works, but such as that you can uh, always complete a dungeon when you enter it. Um, these sort of things will be written on uh, signs that you can find in the dungeons that are, that are sort of hidden away but aren't too difficult to find. So. Uh, the idea is that the player isn't likely to read the text that, or exposition that just gets dumped on them. But if you find one of these signs, you will probably read it because you're the one who found it. Uh, and some things about the game world, you'll, uh, you just have to. Uh, oh yeah, they, they have quite a bit of idle animations. Yeah, and um, Cyber Jenny has uh, replaced one of her eyes with a robot eye, I see, and one of her arms. She she becomes increasingly robotic as you yeah, face her several times. As as for the speedrunning potential, there's there's a lot of uh, there is the. Uh, Shortcuts. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, routing with uh, with uh, lockpicks and taking the dungeons in any order and finding the items in, in different orders and stuff like that. So rolling down the hills, rolling down the hills to save time. And 
and you can manipulate the, the drops of the enemies somehow? Uh, yes, um, the enemies use uh, drop tables. There is no randomness at all in what they drop. So Old school style. So uh, if you're careful you can keep track of that. Um, and yeah, there's an in-game timer that you can um, use. Um, the fastest, my fastest uh, way of beating the game at the moment uses uh, quite a strange order of dungeons. Um, I'm I shouldn't reveal the order, but uh, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, certain items have more potential in some in some dungeons for uh, for speedrunning or shortcuts. on Twitter. Uh, we'll, we announce uh, streaming uh, times, streaming announcements over there. Any, any news on it to do to in uh, general? Yes. Yeah, all right. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> Cut that part, that part.